I'm going to teach y'all how to make these men pursue you. But listen, don't use this advice unless it's with a man that you know that you want. Because if you use this with the wrong kind of man, what's going to happen is that he's going to pursue you. He's going to go after you. He's going to put a whole lot of energy into you. And you're going to have a bugaboo in your hand, okay? Because literally, this is almost like casting a spell on him, okay? So only use this with the kind of man that you actually want and who wants you also. Because on the flip side, this is not gonna work with a man who don't want you. If he don't want you, there's nothing you can say or do that's gonna make him want you, okay? So you need to focus on finding another man who actually wants you. Like I always say in my other videos, choose people who choose you, but that's another video for another time. All right, so let's talk about how to make a man pursue you. Picture this analogy, all right? You got two restaurants. One restaurant, is beautiful you know nice exterior brand new it looks gorgeous i mean everything's nice but when you walk in there it's completely empty in fact when you walk in there the host comes up to you and says hey pick whatever table you want sit wherever you want you know um we can get right to you um we even got drink specials what you need baby that's one restaurant the other restaurant you walk in that restaurant it is packed Every table got people sitting at it. All the, all the servers are just rushing through, rushing through, because they busy, they serving all these people. There's even people sitting in the waiting area waiting to be seated. And when you go to that host there, they say to you, hi, do you have a reservation? And you say, um, nah, I don't. They say, okay, great, I'll take your phone number. You know, we may have a table available in about 40 minutes. Which restaurant do you think probably has better food. Which restaurant do you think will provide a more fulfilling dining experience? What restaurant do you think you're going to actually feel kind of proud that you were able to get in on? The second one. Here's the reason why. As human beings, we are naturally attracted to things that give us a sense of scarcity. Okay? If something is always available, there's plenty of it, it's all around us. We don't value it as much. We may like it, but we don't see it as valuable. It's the same thing when it comes to men, okay? Especially men with very strong masculine energy. Masculine energy is the energy of the hunters, okay? It is the energy of the kind of person and the kind of man that literally wants to feel like anything that's worth having, he had to work for, and that is very valuable, and that everybody can't get access to it. He wants to feel like he got a prize. So you're not making him feel like he got a prize if you're always available, you respond quickly to all his messages, you're planning all the dates, none of that kind of stuff. So the first step to making a man pursue you is this. When you're talking to him, text, whatever it may be. Maybe he's the kind of guy that calls you. Don't answer the phone immediately. Let it go to voicemail sometimes. And don't text him back immediately. I'm the kind of person where if I'm really close to you, I text you back immediately if you text me and I'm available. If you call me and I can answer the phone, I answer the phone immediately. There's nothing wrong with that, but here's the thing. I only do that for people who have proven to me that they value me, people who are putting in the same energy into my relationship with them that I'm putting into it, okay? We're putting in the same level of energy. And the way that I know that about them is because I've had time with them to know that that's where we're at, that we're both putting the same level of energy in. So with that said, I don't mind making myself readily available to you. But with someone who you're just meeting, especially someone you're interested in dating that you want to pursue you, you can't give that kind of energy up front. What you have to do is you have to essentially create some mystery about yourself. So he texts you, maybe sometimes you text back quickly, but sometimes what I really recommend most of the time is wait a little while to text him back. Now don't wait till the next day. But for example, if he texts you good morning, cause you know they love to do that when they first get to know you, text you good morning. Don't text him the moment you get up and the moment you see it. If he texts you, let's say at 7 a.m., good morning, have a beautiful day. Okay. You see it. Maybe you wait until 10.30 a.m., right? Or even noon. How about I say keep it in the a.m., keep it in the a.m., right? And what you text him back 
is you put a little heart, right? And you say, I appreciate you thinking of me. Let me tell you what's happening in that. What you're doing, it is pivotal that you do this, especially at the beginning of a relationship or be, a beginning of a courtship or situationship, is you have to be aware that this is the phase where you're teaching them how to deal with you. All right, you're teaching them how to value you. You're teaching them how to treat you. So the best way to teach someone how to treat you is through positive reinforcement. Listen to me. So he texts you, right? You wait a couple hours to text him back. You put a little heart there, okay? So he, that heart means something. He's like, oh my God, oh my God, they're thinking of me. Oh, I feel good about that, right? After he's had to wait a little while to hear from you. Then you say, I appreciate when you think of me. What you're doing is you're letting him know that it's a good thing for him to do this. What you're doing is you're indirectly telling him, do more of this. Here's the thing you have to understand about masculine energy. Masculine energy wants to make you happy, okay? Think of the little boy who comes home from school and says, mommy, 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 look at the picture that I made. And he's smiling. What he wants is that validation of you saying, that's a beautiful picture, okay? And so what's gonna happen at that point in time is that he's gonna bring a picture home every damn day because he's looking for more of that validation. Oh, that's so beautiful. You're such a wonderful artist. I love when you paint me pictures. He's looking for that validation. It's the same things when they're grown, okay? They're looking for validation. It makes them feel good, okay? So what you're doing is you're saying, I appreciate when you reach out to me. You make me feel so good when you think of me. That's like saying, I love this picture you painted for me. You're teaching him that, hey, I'm gonna give you validation when you reach out to me, okay? You're gonna have to wait on it because I wanna build your hunger for it. But when I give it to you, I'm gonna make you feel good. And so what's gonna happen is that he's going to literally go out of his way to do things to get more validation from you, okay? It's an exchange. It really is a win-win because what he's doing is he's making you feel desired, making you feel wanted. In exchange, you're making him feel valued and validated. So it's a win-win. You're not manipulating him. You are simply providing him with a dynamic that feeds him with what he wants in exchange for him giving you what you want, all right? So that's what you do. When he reaches out to you, you wait a little while to respond. And then when you do respond, always say something validating to him that makes him feel good. That's the first step within this. When it comes beyond just communication, it comes to seeing each other in person, and he says, hey, I really wanna see you. I really wanna hang out with you. Here's what you do. Listen to me really close. This is a really good one, okay? Don't immediately say, sure, what day? I'm available, let me know whenever. No, 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 baby. That's not how you nab a king. That's not how you get a man to chase you. That's not how you get him to pursue you. What you do is he says, hey, I wanna hang out with you. When are you available? You say, oh, I would love to hang out with you. Um, say, let me do this. Um, let me look at, my, um, look at my schedule. Can I get back to you maybe this evening or early tomorrow um, with some possible times? Or if he says, hey, can I hang out with you on Saturday? Are you available on Saturday? Um, let me do this. Um, I'm not sure what's happening with my schedule that day. I just want to make sure that everything's good and clear because I want to make sure I can dedicate my attention to you. So let me do this. I'm going to get back to you by this evening or maybe early tomorrow and I can let you know. You see what I'm doing there? What I'm doing is I've received this request. I've let him know that I do want to hang out with him. But what I'm going to make him do is I'm going to make him wait a little bit for the answer as to when I'm available. Because while he's waiting, He's gonna get just a little frustrated. Sometimes a little pain is actually good, especially for masculine energy men, okay? Because while he's sitting up here waiting on you to respond to him and let him know that, he's hoping you will be available, okay? He really, 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 really is wanting it that much more. So that later on that night, the next day, whenever, when you reach out to him and you say, hey, so I am available on Saturday. Um, what were you thinking? He's gonna be so excited. Okay, great, dope, dope, all right, cool, cool, cool. This is what I was thinking. He's going to put in work. He's gonna have something planned out. He's going to value this. He's gonna be on time. He's not gonna flake on you, okay? Here's the thing, some of these men, and I don't agree with flaking, but some of these men are so flaky because they think that you're readily available. 
right? They text you, you text them right back, okay? They plan, they, they say, let's hang out. You like, yeah, 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 whenever, whenever, whenever. So he, so if something else comes up, in his mind, he's like, okay, I can cancel because she's gonna be available tomorrow. She always available. I, I, I can, I can, I can postpone because she's gonna be available by letting him know in the very beginning of, of your courtship, your situationship, your dating, that mm, I'm not always available and you don't always have access to me. What that does make him do is value the access that he gets. And when he values the access that he gets, he's going to go out of his way to get more and more access to you. It'll get to the point where you're not even halfway through the date or through the dinner or through the outing and he's already saying, so, you know, um, when are you free again? He's planning the next time because he sees that time with you is so valuable and he's trying to get on your calendar in advance, okay? He's going to pursue you. And when you set that dynamic in place, it's going to continue like that throughout the courtship and throughout the relationship. Now, here's where the dynamic shifts, okay? Because what you don't want is for him to always feel like he's pursuing you because eventually at a certain point in time, it could take a year, it could take two years for some people. It, I don't know how long it'll take, but at some point in time, he's going to catch on. I'm always doing all the work and I don't feel like, like they're doing the same work towards me. You don't want him to feel that way because then that's going to create an air of suspicion in his mind. So what you want to do is once you get a sense that he's genuinely interested in you, okay, and that this isn't just some something where once he gets you, he runs away, but that he's genuinely and consistently into you, okay? He's shown you at least for, I would say at least for a couple months that he's into you. Then at that point in time, you turn it up a notch to start going after him a little bit more. Where you're the one reaching out saying, hey, I wanna hang out, what are you doing? Because by this point in time, you've now established a baseline of value, which is that he sees you as valuable. He sees you as something that's not always readily available. He sees you as someone that when you are available, when you are in communication with him, you make him feel good, you validate him. You show him appreciation. You make him feel like a king really, right? When he sees it that way and you then start putting energy into him, he's gonna value your energy that much more and he won't take it for granted because the foundation of your relationship with him was not built on you pursuing him. It was built on him pursuing you. And so at that point in time, now you all are bringing the same energy to the table so now he feels valued while not feeling pursued and you feel valued while not feeling like you have to pursue him and it sets together a dynamic where your relationship can then move forward from there where you never have to feel like you're putting more energy into him than he's putting into you. This works extremely well and I'll tell you this also, it also can work to help shift how things are going with someone where you have been pursuing them, where you know they're interested in you, but you feel like you've been putting in more energy. If you do that with them, where you give them a greater sense of scarcity, okay? And and you're letting him know that you're not readily available all the time. And on top of that, when he does do something that you like, you give him positive reinforcement rather than constantly complaining to him as a way to get him to change. So some of y'all try to get these men to change by saying when they don't do something you like, then you're reaching out to them saying, hey, why don't you reach out to me? Why don't you put more energy into me? Hey, stranger. You're not gonna make him feel good about putting more work into you. What you're gonna make him feel like is let me just do what they want me to do. Let me give her what she wants so she can shut up, okay? That's not a sustainable way to make a man show interest in you and make him pursue you. What you have to do is give him that positive reinforcement. And if you do these things even with somebody that you've been in a relationship with or been in a dynamic with, but you felt like you were pre previously pursuing him, if you do this with him, it can help change the tide so that he will start going after you. And he won't even understand why am I going after you now? Why do I? want to be around you so much more he he's going to want to be around you that much more because you're making yourself seem more valuable through making yourself seem less available okay and like i said through doing this it's going to make him feel good too because when you make him feel good when you make him feel like you're something to hunt something to go after and then you let him catch you every now and again, he's going to love it. He's gonna become addicted. He's literally gonna become addicted to the feeling of getting you and getting your attention and he won't stop doing that, okay? He's gonna keep on going after you, okay? So anyway, 
This has helped me out a tremendous bit to do this and I wanted to share this with you. If this is helping you, go ahead and click like and click share on this and go ahead and comment below and let me know what other dating topics that you want me to cover. What other questions do you want me to answer, okay? If you have a dating question that you want me to answer myself, go ahead and write into www.askmjonline.com, which is the link that's directly below this video if you're watching me on YouTube. And don't forget, I'm on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook so you can follow me on all platforms. I'm Malcolm MJ Harris. I'm here to help you live your best life. All right.